Hey everyone, it's Maddie. It's been a little while since my last video and I apologize for that. There have been a lot of things going on in my life that have been pretty hectic and a lot of new things that have popped up. Recently, I had quit my job. This isn't a negative thing. Everyone over there is still a really good friend of mine and I didn't burn any bridges. This is just something that I needed to do for myself. I started to notice that I was a little bit apathetic going to work and I wasn't as motivated and I really felt burnt out. Sometimes as an artist you just get burnt out and you just need to take a break or take a vacation. So I decided to kind of take some time off or you know a mini hiatus and really sit down and focus on my arts and focus on the way that I do business. Recently I've really been enjoying kind of being on my own time. I've been enjoying going to shows, seeing old friends, art exhibits, and just kind of really working on me and making sure that I am happy. I've been drawing a lot lately and I've been looking up a lot of YouTube tutorials on some of the more basic or the fundamentals of art. Going back to color theory, tonal weight, tonal value, and, and all these other things, I really feel is helping me get a little bit of my passion back and make me a better artist to make sure that I can give the best that I can and be the best that I can for my clients. There's a big problem with artists and shops and the turnaround rate. Sometimes you go into a tattoo shop, you get tattooed by a person, go in there six months to a year later to find out that that artist doesn't work there anymore. I never want to be that type of artist. I like to be extremely dependable. Any tattoo shop that I go to, I like to make sure that I'm going to like that tattoo shop and my goal is to stay as long as I can. Sometimes the dynamic in the tattoo shop changes or sometimes, you know, just something happens that's extremely unavoidable and you must leave that shop in order to better your situation or find something that's going to make you a happier artist. With all this downtime, I have definitely missed sitting in front of the camera talking with all of you. So I would definitely like to do a lot more sit down videos. I'm still going to be making videos of me tattooing. I'm still going to be doing the point of view videos. I just have a whole lot more time on my hands now to get these videos done, get them edited, and get them uploaded. There are tons of different styles of art that we can go through and kind of discuss and really get down to what makes that style what it is and some of the history behind these styles. There are a lot of questions that I get daily and a lot of these questions are the same question. So I'm definitely going to be doing another video where I'm answering common questions that people have about tattooing. I also want to sit down and do a Q&A with all of you. I really appreciate all the people that are leaving me positive comments and encouraging me to make more videos. Because of you, I'm definitely going to be making more videos and it definitely lights a fire under me in order to start making a whole lot more videos. Two weeks ago, I got a phone call from the tattoo shop saying that there was some mail for me. So I kind of thought to myself, well, I didn't order anything. Um, you know, is it a magazine or is it like junk mail? And they said, no, it's an actual package. So I went and I saw Jesse and Mel and everyone, which was awesome because I hadn't seen everyone in a while. And it was nice to catch up, kind of see what everyone was doing and just kind of talk and hang out because I miss hanging out with all my friends at work. So I'm going to open up this package and we're going to see what's in it. Uh, from Dora in Kapolei, Hawaii. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even need this. All right. So we got a postcard, and it is a picture of Hawaii. Aloha, Maddie. Oh, that's it's the Waikiki aerial view with diamond head. A colorful view of Waikiki Beach with its beautiful waters and coastline. Cool. Um, Aloha, Maddie. Thank you for the tattoo of Taz. I love it. All my friends said it looks great. If you ever come to Oahu, please stop by so I can show you the island. It is beautiful here. Aloha and mahalo, Dora. Oh, man. So 
This lady, Dora, was awesome. She came in to get a little Tasmanian devil tattoo as a memorial piece. She was tons of fun, super funny. Um, I really enjoyed tattooing her. She is a super positive lady. I don't know when I'm going to be going to Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii once when I was like 10 years old, but uh, I would love to go tattoo in Hawaii. Tattooing in Hawaii is awesome, but I don't really tell many people this. I'm actually kind of afraid of the ocean. Last time I went in the ocean, I sat on a boogie board, saw all the little creatures swimming underneath me, and I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. I forgot the word for it of being afraid of you know, deep waters, but I definitely have that, and the ocean scares the hell out of me. There are also different things in here. Um, let's see. Island Menahune Tiki. Oh, that's cool. It is a tiki keychain. Badass. Missing anything? Nope. I have a feeling. Yep, it's a shot glass. Hawaii Island Girl Hawaii. Cool. It's, it's got a picture of a beautiful island girl with some tiki's in the back. It's really badass. I like the shot. I'm going to add it to the collection of shot glasses. Um, everywhere I go in the world, I always pick up a souvenir, and the majority of these souvenirs are shot glasses. But last time I was in Germany, I think I raided, absolutely raided the gift shop before I went home. You know what? That actually gives me an idea. I'm going to do a video where I do a tutorial on how to do a uh, tattoo flash and we'll make it traditional or neo-traditional tattoo flash. And I would like to see how well some of the artists that watch this, um, whether you are a tattoo artist or you just like to draw, um, to tag me on Instagram and then I want to do a giveaway. I would really like whoever the winner was to please send me that piece of art so I can definitely hang on my wall. And maybe I can do a bunch more of those and definitely have a really cool wall behind me of all the cool stuff that you guys create. So thanks for watching again, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.